Well, one of the things um, that I'm doing this year is um, touring in support of an, an album I did um, honoring what would have been Pete Seeger's 100th birthday. Uh, this is his centenary year here in 2019. And uh, so I am touring around with my, uh, my Pete Seeger 12 string. This is a sister to Pete's guitar. His original 12 string um, was built by a fellow named Stanley Francis, a Liverpudlian engineer. And Pete uh, apparently never saw a political bumper sticker he didn't like and had them plastered all over his uh, guitar case. And the story I heard was that a, uh, a baggage handler took umbrage with some of the opinions expressed on that uh, guitar case and opened it up and put his boot right through the top of Pete's guitar. Now, whether it was impossible to get another one from uh, Mr. Francis or whatever, uh, a, a local high school shop teacher named Bruce Taylor, who lived not far from Pete, um, glued the thing back together enough to take measurements and then built these guitars. And uh, Pete had at least one, probably to his grandson, Tal Rodriguez, has one. I have one. Uh, Tom Chapin has one. And I think Michael Cooney has one. Um, but it's a, it's a honker of an instrument. It's a baritone tuned down uh, four frets so that the lowest string in standard tuning would be C rather than E. And I, of course, being John McCutcheon, have this tuned down to my, my uh, you know, patented double D tuning. So uh, it's a fabulous guitar. And uh, let's see. And, and what's, what's iconic about this guitar, of course, is the snake head and the triangular sound hole. And, uh, and the neck that it looks more club-like. <laughs> than anything else. Um, the only song that Pete ever had on what was then called the Hit Parade was not one of his songs. Um, yes, he wrote um, Where Have All the Flowers Gone and If I Had a Hammer and Turn, Turn, Turn and lots of other people had hits with those songs. Um, the only song that Pete ever had on the Hit Parade was a song he didn't write. It was written by a self-described um, Berkeley housewife by the name of Malvina Reynolds. And it was Little Boxes. And this is not that song. This is, uh, this is maybe my favorite um, Malvina Reynolds song, and I learned it from a Pete Seeger album of the same title. God bless the grass, it grows through the cracks. They roll the concrete over it and they try to keep it back. But the concrete gets tired of what it has to do. It breaks and it buckles and the grass grows through. God bless the grass. God bless the grass that grows through cement. It's green and it's tender, it's easily bent. And after a while, it lifts up its head. For the grass is living, but the stone is dead. God bless the grass. And God bless the grass, it's gentle and low. Its roots, they are deep, and its will is to grow. It moves through the ground, it reaches for the air. And after a while, it's growing everywhere. God bless the grass. God bless the truth that fights for the sun. They roll the lies over it and they think that it is done. And God bless the truth that 
friend of the poor, the wild grass growing at the poor man's door. God bless the grass. God bless the grass that grows through the cracks. They roll the concrete over it and they try to keep it back. But the concrete gets tired of what it has to do. It breaks and it buckles and the grass grows through. God bless the grass. 